Good morning, Patriots, Punk Rockers, Americans. It is Tuesday morning, and uh, the time sure has changed, literally. So we're a lot brighter this morning than we normally would be. Which should make making the videos a little more easier, hopefully. Now, as far as the sound goes, I hope the sound's a little better. I've got to remind myself to talk a little louder because, you know, this is a 2011, so it's not quiet proof like, you know, the new cars are. Is that even a word? No, I don't think so. So, anyway, today I want to talk about the World Series. I'm not a big baseball fan by any means, but I noticed that uh, Twitter was blowing up because uh, apparently the catcher, Kurt Suzuki, um, one of the players on the uh, Washington Nationals, I believe. Apparently they won the World Series, so you know Trump invited him to the White House. And uh, old Kurt Suzuki got a bunch of shit for wearing a MAGA hat. He did. And you know, of course, with the same old rhetoric, you know, disgusting, he's racist, you know, bigot. How dare he? All for wearing just a red hat that said MAGA. It's sad that we've gotten to the, the point in the world, well, not the world, the country, where supporting your president is a bad thing. And if you support your president in your country, then you know, you're basically just a piece of shit. When did we get to that point? I mean, I don't recall Obama having to go through this, and believe me, Obama was not a great president. He did some shady shit, you know, and he didn't keep with the hope and change like he promised. As a matter of fact, I beg to argue that things got worse under Obama. We became more divisive when I thought we'd be more united. But, in any case, you know, Obama didn't get near the, the treatment that, you know, Trump has gotten. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, people should be allowed to support the president if that's what they choose. I mean, he's our president. He's running our country. You may not agree with everything that he does, but you should respect the office that he holds. And if you don't like him, fine. Vote him out in 2020. You know, get some candidates that are worth something that, you know, aren't these extreme left socialists. You know, find a moderate Democrat, somebody centered, just barely left, you know, somebody that cares about the country and put him up against Trump. And let's see what happens. But you're not going to win with this field that you've currently got. I mean, Sanders, Warren, ain't going to happen. They're too left. Nobody in this country wants socialism, even if it's democratic socialism. There's not enough money to pay for it. We're spending way too much money now on shit. I mean, what's our deficit? You know, the trillions right now? I mean, really, the trillions? I remember growing up when it used to be billions. And now we're in the damn trillions. It's crazy. So, yeah, if you don't like Trump, find a candidate that's, that can beat him and run against him. And we'll see what happens in 2020. Other than that, you know, respect the office and respect the people that voted for him. Because they're not bad people. You're being sold this lie by the mainstream media that, you know, white supremacy is rising up and the evil Nazis are taking... No, it's not happening. I don't see it anywhere. And the couple of places I have seen it, we're just talking about five or ten douchebags with Confederate flags and, you know, wearing damn hoods. And hell, nobody takes them seriously anymore because they're idiots. And the alt-right, God. They're just a bunch of fucking talk with that, you know, their identity politics and shit. The majority of people don't want that and don't feel that way. You know, and if you would sit down and have a conversation, an honest conversation with people, rather than just calling them names and calling them deplorable and disgusting, you'd get a lot more done. Anyway, that's just my two cents on it. I could be wrong. Other than that, I see Roger Stone uh, begins his trial this week. I hope he can get through it. I mean, I don't want to see him go to prison. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, as a political 
pundit or figure, whatever you want to call him. You know, I've, I've seen the documentary. He's, he's done dirty politics. Nothing without, you know, outside the scope of the law, I don't think. But, you know, love him or hate him, he got shit done. He did. And he's a funny guy, you know. He's got a really uh, quirky sense of humor and shit. Anyway, I hope he doesn't go to fucking prison. I hope whatever jury he gets, you know, can see the things for what they were. And that this whole Russian collusion thing is bullshit. You know, because it's going to bring that up again. But we already know it's bullshit. It's already been proven to be bullshit. Mueller done showed it was bullshit. So, I hope the guy can catch a break and avoid any, uh, you know, jail time. Outside of that, you know, it's just damn business as usual. Things keep moving forward. But yeah, man, you gotta let this shit go with damn Trump. You don't have to like him, hell, you don't have to support him, but let your vote do the talking. You know, find somebody that can run against him that might have a shot to beat him and just, you know, get him out of office if that's what you want to do. But this whole thing with impeachment is just a waste of time. Even if they even if they do impeach, the Senate's not gonna damn vote his ass out. He'll finish his four years at least. But how much money is all this costing us the taxpayer? That's what I'm curious about because you know we don't need to be spending that much money. But yeah, Twitter. Let it go. Kirk Suzuki, I'm sure, is a fine, outstanding individual. And just because he wore a MAGA hat and supports Trump and gave him a hug and went to the White House does not make him a bad person. It makes him a patriot, an American. You know, how many opportunities does anybody get to go to the Oval, the Oval Office, the White House? I mean, not many. Yeah, congratulations, Kurt Suzuki. Congratulations to the Washington Nationals, you know, for your World Series victory. Even though I don't follow baseball, I'm not a sports guy. I think all that shit's overrated. I think athletes make way too much money for, you know, just playing a damn sport. And don't get me wrong, I respect their talent, but really, do you need to make you know, 24 million a year playing a damn sport. Just doesn't seem right. I tell you who we should be paying 24 million dollars a year. That's to our damn soldiers. You know, our damn teachers. You know, our EMTs. You know, our police officers. You know, the people that put their lives on the line every day for us to make sure that we're taken care of. That's who should be making that kind of money. Not some damn sports figure. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Hopefully my opinion doesn't get me in too much hot water. You know, contrary to popular belief, I'm not a bad person either. You know, I love everybody. You know, I think we've all got the same opportunities here in this country to make something great of ourselves. You know, we just have to put in the work. Because, you know, I don't think anybody's going to give you anything for free without some kind of strings attached to it especially the government, you know? And that's all I'm really for, smaller government. I don't want, you know, a big, big damn federal institution telling me what I gotta do, how to live my life, how to raise my child. I'm perfectly capable of figuring it out on my own. You know, yes, I'll make mistakes, but they'll be my mistakes. You know, and I believe in freedom. I believe in the freedom for you to do anything that you want. You know, as long as you're not hurting yourself or other people, I don't care, you know. Just don't try to force your beliefs down my throat. I'm not going to force mine down yours. I'm all about agreeing to disagree. You know, but I do wish that we could sit down and have a discussion without it turning into name-calling and a bunch of damn yelling and screaming and keeping our feelings out of it and just trying to stick to the facts. That'd be awesome. You know, because I think that's what the majority of Americans want. You know, they just want to 
be themselves and mind their own damn business and not have shit forced upon them. I mean, I don't think it's that complicated. Outside of that, there's a new movie coming out uh, that's just dropped in a couple of markets that I definitely want to see. And that's that No More Spaces with Adam Carolla and the guy I think who created Prager U. Anyway, it looks really good. It's about free speech on college campuses because, you know, that's crazy. You can't have civil debate on college campus anymore. You can't have a speaker with a different ideology than what you might think without it turning into a shit show protest. You know, everybody wants to protest anything. I recommend everybody go check out the movie PCU from the 90s. You know, at the end where he says, we're not gonna protest. We're not gonna protest. That's what we need. If we're gonna protest, let's protest some serious shit. Not this dumb shit. You know, everybody's got a right to protest. I believe that. But let's pick some good shit to protest. It's not, not freedom of speech. We should be protesting that. I mean, come on, people. Ah, God, I love my Mountain Dew in the morning. Though I've had to cut back on it a great deal. I used to drink too much of it. But I digress. So anyway, that's all I'm going to get into today. Um, for those that were looking for the live stream on Friday night, I ran into technical difficulties. I'm having issues trying to figure out how to get multiple people on Skype to be involved with the live stream to where when I talk to one, the others don't go on hold. So if anybody knows any better software or a workaround for that, please let me know because I really want to get these live streams going and having, you know, multiple guests, you know, partake in the show because I think it'd be really fun and a hoot, you know, we could have a good time. So if you know how to fix that, uh, just drop it in the comments. Outside of that, anything else that I said that you either agree with or disagree with, drop in the comments. You know, I like to hear y'all's opinions on things. I like to know what you're thinking. Other than that, as always, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell. Uh, I'm one subscriber away from 145 and six from 150. I would love to get to 150 this week, and uh, I know you guys can make it happen. Outside of that, I'm going to jump off here because it's about breakfast time, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to get that done. But as always, I love you guys. Thanks for checking me out, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.